Hello, how to solve this radical problem? We have square root of t to the power of 3, and this equals square root of 3 to the power of 3. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, if you have square root of a, this equals a power 1 over 2. So, square root of t power 3 is the same thing as having t power 3. Raised to the power of 1 over 2. And this equals square root of 3 power 3 is the same thing as having 3 power 3. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, if you have a to the power of n, raised to the power of m equals a power m raised to the power of n. Now you wash out for this exponent. You wash out. This is m, n, and this is n, and this is n. So by applying this other part of the identity, that means the n would then come inside the bracket. So we are going to have t power, this is 1 over 2, raised to the power of 3 equals. 3 power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. Now, if you have a power 1 over 2, this is just like writing square root of a. So we are going to apply this identity here and here. So we have square root of t raised to the power of 3 equals square root of 3 raised to the power of 3. So from here, what we are going to do, we move this over here. We have square root of t raised to the power of 3 minus a square root of 3 raised to the power of 3, and this equals 0. Now what you are having here is power 3, a is power 3, and there's minus sign here. So for you to expand this, you can make use of this identity if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times, this is a squared plus ab plus b power 2. Now in this case, our a is root t and b is root 3. So let's make use of this in order to expand this. So what we are going to have will simply be a minus b, that is root t minus root 3, times a squared, that is root t to the power of 2, plus a b, that is root t times root 3, plus b squared, that is root 3 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So from here, you have root t minus root 3, times this comes with this, we have t plus root t times root 3. This is root 3t plus this cancel this. We have 3 and this equals 0. So the next step will be to equate each of these to 0. We have root t minus root 3 equals 0. Or we have this one here. t plus root 3t plus 3 equals 0. So to solve this, it's very simple. What we are going to do will be to move this over here. It becomes positive root 3. So you have root t equals root 3. So what happened here is the square root cancel the square root. So you have t equals 3. Now this is our t1. To solve for other values of t, we make use of this. Now, coming over here, we have t plus root 3, t plus 3 equals 0. Now, I can take this t over here and take the t over here. Then, what I'm going to have left is just square root of 3t. So, I have square root of 3t equals this is negative 3 minus t. Now, the next step will be to eliminate the square root. So I decided to take the squares of the part of this equation. So this cancel this. We are going to have this is 3t 
equals this means I'm going to write it two times. Negative 3 minus t times negative 3 minus t. From here, I have 3t equals negative 3 times negative 3. That is 9. Negative 3 times negative t. That is positive 3t. Negative t times negative 3. Plus 3t. Negative t times negative t. Plus t power 2. So right now, I'm simply going to have 3t equals 9 plus 3t plus 3t, that is 6t, plus t power 2. So what I'm going to do will be to move this over here. It will change to negative 3t. I have 0 equals 9 plus 6t plus t squared minus 3t. So from here, I'll have 0 equals 9 plus 60 minus 3t, that is 3t plus t squared. So I can decide to rearrange this. Starting with t squared, I rearrange it. I can have t power 2 plus 3t plus 9 equals 0. So this is what I'm going to solve. This is a quadratic equation that we are going to solve for all values of t. Now we can solve this using the formula method. So I write the formula in respect to t. Of t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Now 1 is the coefficient of t squared, that is our a. 3 is the coefficient of t, that is our b. And c is the 9 here. So let's insert everything right into this particular formula. So what we are going to have will simply be t. Is our t, this is t equals negative v. That is negative t plus or minus square root of b squared. That is 3 squared minus 4 times a. That is 1 times c. That is 9. And this is divided by 2 times a. That is 2 times 1. So from here, I'm going to have t equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared. That is 9 minus 4 times 1. That is 4. 4 times 9. That is 36. Divided by 2. So from here, I'm going to have t equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36. That is negative 27. Divided by 2. From here, I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus. Is minus here, I have square root of negative 1 times square root of 27 divided by 2. So square root of negative 1 here is i, that is i attack. So what I'm going to do, we have my t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 27. I can express it as two dot of 9 and 3 of 9 times 3 divided by 2. So from here, I'm going to have this over here. I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9. That is 3 times root 3. And this is divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals, this is negative 3 plus or minus i times 3 root 3 divided by 2. So now I can decide to factor out 3 over 2. Of t equals this is 3 over 2 times this is negative 1 plus minus i root 3. So I have two complex values for t which are this. I can have it as t2 equals 3 over 2 times negative 1 plus i root 3. So that is our t2. Now t3 equals 3 over 2 times negative 1 minus i root 3. So we have two complex solutions and one real solution. Remember, we had a real solution before. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to check using the real solution. Here is the real solution, which is t equals 3. 
you are going to check by just inserting this value for t, which is very simple to check. If you have check here, and our t equals 3, and the problem is the same, square root of t power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3. This for t, we have square root of 3 power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3. Now from here, don't forget the fact that 3 power 3 is 27. Our square root of 27 equals square root of 27. So that is it. Now you can as well translate this. Remember, square root of a is a power 1 over 2. Right? So if that is the case, I can have 27 to the power 1 over 2. And this equals 27 to the power 1 over 2. But the best form to leave it is this. Or you can just leave it the way that you have it right here. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.